when it comes to uh, consumer, uh, consumers and digital content, let's look at it from that point of view and uh, let's uh, uh, for a moment talk about uh, the consumer experience related to digital content. Uh, a lot of consumers, they enjoy capturing uh, uh, pictures, uh, capturing uh, videos, etc. while they're on holiday. So while they enjoy that, the other thing they enjoy is um, uh, actually uh, viewing the, the content they capture, uh, holiday snaps, etc. Uh, you know, re reliving those memories. So on the one hand, they enjoy that. When it comes to um, uh, music, they enjoy listening to that, uh, relaxing, uh, listening to music, or kicking back and uh, watching the movie uh, that they may have uh, uh, their, their favorite title. The problem is, uh, in today's world of digital content, is uh, the process before you get to the actual consumption can be quite arduous. And for the average consumer, it's not something that they want to um, necessarily, necessarily be involved in. That's not uh, what they, they just want to be, uh, they just want the end product, you know, which is the enjoyment and concern and the sharing of that. But unfortunately, uh, uh, for various reasons and technology sometimes works against them uh, in actually fulfilling uh, a seamless experience of, uh, of watching uh, and, uh, uh, and entertaining themselves uh, with, uh, with the content that they like. And this is where DLA comes in. So DLA uh, was um, conceived several years ago, back in 2003, a handful of companies. At the time, the vision they had, which is similar to the vision we have today, DLA, is really a, a consumer world where the user is able to simply enjoy the content that they own, and uh, whether it's movies, music, uh, videos, or uh, pictures, their photos, their holder snaps. And uh, so DLNA has been setting about over the last few years to create a set of uh, DLNA interoperability guidelines and uh, spent a lot of time and effort and money uh, with the help of his members in creating a compelling uh, certification program. So what it then does is, is that um, it uh, enables consumers to simply connect and enjoy their content. In reality, what it means is uh, when you have uh, DLNA certified products, a number of DLNA certified products, uh, which uh, are complementary in their capabilities, so you may have um, uh, a uh, storage device where you keep all your uh, all your content, your music, etc. You may have a, a player rendering device, a TV or a music center or something. When these are uh, DLNA uh, certified, Consumers can just simply just connect them. They just uh, it takes all the guesswork out of connecting uh, those devices, and uh, really bypasses the whole arduous process which I talked about earlier. Uh, to the point that uh, they can uh, they can simply just uh, uh, get to enjoying uh, the the content. It's something that they they want to do very easily. So that's what DLNA is, and that's what that's that has been the vision uh, of uh, these member companies for years. We started off, as I said, with a uh, a uh, handful of companies, and these days uh, the uh, organization enjoys something like um, 240 uh, plus uh, members uh, uh, from all over the world and from uh, a multitude of industries, not just consumer electronics, but uh, uh, service provider industries, uh, broadcast uh, uh, device uh, manufacturers such as uh, smart devices, etc. And all these uh, member companies, with their passion, they come together to uh, create these compelling guidelines just to make it easy. So from that point of view, DLA has been, for a number of years, very much a friend of uh, the consumer. Uh, so it doesn't stop there, because DLA itself is not a, uh, it's not a complacent organization. We continue to develop capabilities year on year, and uh, the number of DLA certified devices continues to grow as well. Uh, right now, there are something in excess of uh, 13 and a half thousand DLNA certified device models. Many of them are in active service all around the world. And what it actually means in terms of number of devices in consumers' homes or in their pockets, in their, uh, in their hands, is something around uh, uh, half a billion, half a billion devices, many of them again, which are uh, in, uh, in active service at the moment. So that's quite a lot, and the number is increasing all the time. Uh, as consumers uh, realize more and more the value of DLNA. And so uh, the reason why we are enjoying such a growth in device uh, uh, certification 
and not only the number but also in the uh, the device types as well. Where we started off with um, uh, TVs uh, earlier on and uh, PCs, uh, moving on to Blu-rays, printers, etc. These days we have um, a number of uh, tablet devices, photo frames. Uh, we have. Um, uh, mobile phones, uh, smart devices, of course, on the increase very much as well. And the reason why we see enjoy such an increase is because DLA continues to add capabilities through their guidelines and their certification program. Uh, uh, the capabilities which consumers naturally want to have and want to enjoy. And uh, recently, over the last uh, few months, uh, the most exciting development in our portfolio of capabilities has been the introduction of um, premium video. What that will enable uh, consumers to do shortly, uh, cons uh, uh, the certification program is in development at the moment. What that will enable consumers to do is to uh, easily enjoy uh, uh, commercial content. Previously, it's been about um, uh, user-generated content videos, uh, as well as music, of course, and uh, photos. Uh, it'll enable, for the first time, to enjoy commercial content in and around the home. And in reality, what it does is it actually gives a multi-room type of experience, which is currently available through service provider offerings. Uh, uh, but the difference is right now, in order to enjoy movies from one room to another, uh, what you really require is a number of sets of boxes, one in each room connected to your TV. And most of the time it is uh, just connected to TV and nothing else. What uh, DLA does is it improves on that in the sense that you can have one set of box uh, over the DLA network and uh, uh, through that uh, uh, set of box, the content can then be securely and safely streamed around the, uh, around the home, elsewhere in the home. So you could quite easily enjoy um, a start a movie title, for example, in the living room uh, in the evening and uh, continue watching that in the bedroom you know, when you retire for the night. Or with the help of DNA and everything still sourced from the one set top box. And the way that uh, happens, the way we bring about this premium um, uh, video uh, service offer in DLA is um, by use of a number of technologies, uh, key one being um, link protection technology, where the stream that is flowing over the DLA network is protected through uh, a link protection technology, which, is, uh, which gives some sort of um, a peace of mind to the uh, content providers, of course. Uh, it is their content, they're naturally worried about uh, who's watching it, who sees it. And uh, the other thing is that um, it allows uh, the service providers uh, to uh, uh, offer uh, and to uh, uh, support those features as well. And in fact, uh, DLA uh, Premium Video has uh, uh, been delivered as a result of the enthusiasm of many of our service provider uh, uh, members as well. Um, so it gives you a, a truly um, multi-room experience without all the hassle. Uh, it just works. It's just everywhere.